Taking a trip down memory lane, describing past habits and routines in English. Hello, English learners. Today, we're going to explore a very important topic in our intermediate grammar series, modal verbs. Specifically, we'll focus on describing past habits and routines. This skill is crucial for everyday conversation, storytelling, and more. We're going to delve into the importance of learning to describe past habits and routines, and we'll also share some tips and tricks to master this aspect of the English language. Let's jump right in. Learning to describe past habits and routines is a key component of English language learning. It's not just about grammar rules. It's about being able to tell stories about your life, share your experiences, and understand others' experiences as well. It can help you create deeper connections with people, make your speech more interesting, and show a better understanding of English. For instance, being able to describe that you used to play football every Saturday or that you would always visit your grandmother on Sundays brings a richer, more personal dimension to conversations. It makes your speech colorful and engaging. Now, let's look at how we can describe past habits and routines. We often use phrases like, used to, or, would always, to express these ideas. For example, I used to go to the cinema every Friday. When I was a child, I would always have a cup of hot cocoa before bed. Remember, used to and would are followed by the base form of the verb. Also, note that would is not used with stative verbs such as love, hate, know, think, etc. Instead, used to is preferred. To master the art of describing past habits and routines, practice is crucial. Try to incorporate these patterns in your everyday English conversation. Start by thinking about your past. What are some things you used to do? What are some routines you had? Write down a few sentences using used to and would always. For example, I used to take a walk in the park every morning. My family would always gather for a big dinner on Christmas Eve. Remember, the more you practice, the more naturally it will come to you. So there you have it. Describing past habits and routines is more than just grammar. It's about bringing your conversations to life, sharing your personal stories, and understanding others' experiences better. It's about connecting with people on a deeper level. Keep practicing, and you'll see how much richer and engaging your English conversations become. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you found this lesson helpful. Remember, the key is to practice regularly. Stay tuned for more helpful lessons on English language learning. Until next time, happy learning!